everybody. This is uh, the introduction of the open day of the art science interfaculty. Uh, my name is Koki Eek. I'm one of the teachers of the department. And then on my right side, for the viewers on my left side, is the, the head of our department, Taco Stok. It's on the me. left side of, uh, of me, so on the right side of, from the viewers, we have uh, one of the students from art science, it's Max. Uh, he's in, from the fourth year. Bachelor. Uh, bachelor. <laughs> and uh, maybe I kick off with a question to uh, Taco. The art science interfaculty. What is a specific the interfaculty? Hmm. Um, well, it's an interfaculty because it is in between and it's uh, it actually from the very start in, uh, in 1989, it's an interfaculty between the Royal Conservatoire and the Royal Academy of Arts in The Hague, uh, meaning that we are principally a, uh, an interdisciplinary department. We have a bachelor and a master's and uh, we are setting up a PhD program, uh, which is uh, all about the fact that we try to um, redefine what art or artistic practice can be. Um, uh, radically from um, um, thinking about how different disciplines, different discourses and different um, materials, ideas and uh, um, other knowledge can lead to uh, new combinations or new paths to go for, you know, say to think about what the uh, um, what the art of tomorrow could be in relation to what the world of tomorrow could be. Maybe Max, what kind of students are interested in art science? What, or what are their backgrounds or? Um, okay, the kind of students which are interested, I guess they're usually uh, curious students because most of uh, the study is about following your own uh, curiosity and your own path. And um, yeah, I guess that's maybe one thing which I notice most from uh, people in art sciences that they, they quite often, uh, they don't necessarily know what they want, but they're trying to uh, actively uh, find that to be be curious, be curious, uh, yeah, about what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I think that it's it's. I would say uh, it's quite spot on. Uh, I'd say that maybe it's not that they don't know what they want, but they know they want something, but they don't know what it is, and that's a, a bit of a, a different take. But that, that's actually. The kind of curiosity uh, that you need to really go over boundaries and to rethink all kinds of things that we all are accustomed to, whether we, uh, whether it's in making any kind of art in any kind of discipline, that you want something that is really feels like something else, and then you have to find out, okay, where where is that? Where is my personal? Um, Where's my personal fascination? Where's my personal mission in a way? Not wanting to sound too religious, but uh, um, that's something that comes from deep. And uh, it's also something that you have to form you to formulate and to find very individually. So that's why we are organized in a very indi individual, uh, focused on a very indiv individual study trajectories. And it means that you have to uh, 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 be open to question as much as you can, which is harder than you think, but uh, that's what we try to do ourselves too as a as a department, as uh, teachers or artists ourselves, and that's what we try to help our students with, with mm -hmm. very diverse results. Mm -hmm. Can you share something about your fascinations? Yeah, um, well, I'm in the fourth year and I'm like writing my thesis now so I feel I'm also uh, in a good position. Uh, I'm starting to arrive at what my fascination really is. 
and uh, it definitely has something to do with uh, musical instruments and sound and performing um, on the one hand and something else which is more like grasping or systems or uh, kind of informatics on the other hand and these kind of come together well yeah so I'm uh, making kind of mechanical musical instruments um, this year and that really comes together in that because on, on one hand you uh, understand what something is doing and on the other hand you you know you actually hear it mm -hmm. so there's some sort of weird um, uh, merging there which yeah which I find super fascinating mm -hmm. and these are one of the things you oh sorry yeah you are, uh, yeah, so uh, or doing. I like uh, I like swinging things a lot, and this is um, uh, I uh, picked up uh, I borrowed two bells from my grandfather over Christmas, and uh, this is as far as I've got with them so far. <laughs> Okay. But it's really, you know, it, 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 it's it's a good example because it is um, it's really taking musical ideas to the level of instrument development in a way, which is normally not the first thing that you do when you do musical studies at the conservatoire. Then it's stripping down things to a very minimal, basic kind of uh, uh, conceptual thinking about how simple can it be, how. Can it be as simple as possible and still being very interesting as a, as as music musical material as a um, as a performative material or or, or a installation material, and it gets you to a way of thinking that is very much you know basic, um, um, you know physics in a way, you know, it's about, this is about swinging, which makes all kinds of, it's about, it's really coming together at a very fundamental level to something that then builds up something from scratch that gets you to a new kind of uh, area of, uh, of, of development. Yeah, actually, this is also something which I, oh yeah, it's part of my own work, but I think it's also part of art science in a way, um, which is, the, um, yeah, I mean, I'm interested in very basic things, uh, but that also uh, um, for the whole art science community, it's also something about uh, working from your own experience um, and kind of uh, yes, from academic uh, level, but also from a kind of hands-on uh, approach. And I think that that's also quite uh, yeah, that that's also quite kind of um, uh, special to take that seriously. Mm -hmm. Quite art science. Mm -hmm. I agree, and you see also that this is a very low-tech example of of dealing with things. But you know, some other projects are very high-tech, and we have all the things in between. It's, there's no choice about this is a really high, the highly technological department, or this is a very uh, um, hands-on department. It has all these kind of sides. All students get into contact with all. I mean. You, um, uh, you did all kinds of other experiments during your studies, you know, using all kinds of computer programming, for instance, and things like that. And from all these experiments, you get to this very core of what actually fascinates you the most, and you define your own, the own type of personal type of artist, you or personal type of discipline that you actually want to uh, to work in. That's interesting. I think how it and how it goes. Yeah. And then Taco, how are the are structured over the year. Yeah, well, uh, um, the, the, the studies are, are, are organized, the program is organized uh, for the bachelor as well as the, uh, as the master very openly in the sense that there's a lot of free choice in how to create your own uh, palette of, uh, of things that you want to learn. There is uh, um, the exception is actually when you come into Bachelor One, we have a four year Bachelor. The first year of Bachelor has a lot of introductory courses to give you, to let you sniff all the different uh, possibilities. And um, from from then on, um, 
there's a lot of freedom in, 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 in choosing what you think you need for your individual development. Uh, most courses are, are uh, 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 structured in very short but intense uh, combinations of, uh, of, of workshop type courses, which have, have a lot of uh, um, development in uh, or, or practical uh, um, training as well as theoretical training. Of course, there are courses that are more focused on the theoretical side and there are some that are more on the improvisation, uh, improvisational or, or hands on side, but we try to keep that in balance. Um, there are some longer courses, uh, especially for uh, things that are uh, um you know type of knowledge that needs more time uh to to sink in like for instance programming courses that are spread out more um and we keep try to keep a balance in 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 the in the study program and um on the level of what kind of courses do we offer we offer um we try to keep uh in a lot of things from different disciplines. It can be from 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 a musical or sound side of uh, um, approaching things, or a more visual side, or a theoretical, uh, theoretical, or uh, 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 or more new media side. We have literature. We have olfactory art, for instance, which is about the art of uh, uh, of smell. Um, and um, on the other side, you know more discourse-wise uh, uh, um, aspects that are you know, playing in nowadays society relating to um, social aspects of what um, artists are um, relating to in nowadays world to more abstract uh, um, uh, ways of thinking like the already mentioned types of programming for instance that you might want to learn or only need to learn or electronics those kind of things we have a little bit of swap so we're very limited in space at the moment one and a half meter so we so now and then invite another student in so you see a bit of the, a bit of the spectrum <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh yj she is also graduating from the bachelor's in the fourth year and maybe yj you can Say a little bit about yourself, what you're interested in, where you're from, or whatever, what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm uh, YJ from Bachelor Forty, and uh, I'm from China. So, uh, well, speaking of artistic practice, uh, actually, from the very beginning when I entered this into faculty, I had a very solid fascination that it was uh, theater, and then. Each year, because I, I receive a lot of different inputs and also like uh, I get the time and also the space and the platform to develop different like other other fascinations. So my fascination is always like a little bit uh, periodical. And at this point, uh, I'm really interested in toilets. And <laughs> uh, yes, uh, my graduation thesis is going to be uh, just about public toilet and toilet, toilet in general, but I see toilet as this space that just contains a sort of a political um, logic within, that is to say the relation between the space itself and our bodily response to it has some power structure to uh, for me to examine. And this is also something I, I see a lot of art science workshops um, that give you this theoretical framework and also this bodily experience um, to look into the back, look into the relation between space and the body. Um, so I'm going to print my thesis on toilet paper. That is a very important thing <laughs> I have to mention. And uh, uh, with my work, I'm also now developing different narrative um, techniques to embed them into the um, into the existing toilets and um, hopefully to kind of like with well with the with the plant of the of the narratives in it hopefully the bodily response of uh, our daily like our daily usage um, could be altered a little bit well that is basically my ambition with the toilet okay. <laughs> <laughs> We are looking forward to <laughs> my stinking artistic career. <laughs> <laughs>
Fantastic. It's an interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting development from your theater uh, um, um, interest, which is you know the most anti-toilet as you can imagine. You know, it's in the limelight, on the stage, everybody uh, can see you to the most private space we have in uh, in our. Yeah, and in our I, society. I have to argue that Solida is also has like very strong theatricality in it. I, I agree, but it's I mean it is an interesting, you know, from the most open, visible uh, place to the most closed, and to open that from a uh, from that point of view mm -hmm. can lead to really new things. Mm -hmm. I'm also curious because we are sort of a department which organizes also a lot. Uh, maybe you can say more about that. Like, okay, so you study, but the students all the time organize a lot of stuff together. So, yeah. what do you do? Yeah, <laughs> I feel I feel also this, uh, one thing about it is that it really encourages you to do something like off track the education. So we built this ISD system that each year we have to gain a lot of like ISD points. Uh, ISD stands for in individual in study trajectory. trajectory. Yeah. Yes. So um, people are in encouraged to um, to organize their own exhibition and to attend like different occasions, activities, and also to reach out um, reach out to like different art institutions in the Netherlands. Well, as um, for me, because now I'm graduating and for our fourth year, we are very actively organizing different events such as workshops, such as um, performance, such as parties, uh, just all kinds. And um, yeah, and me personally, I, I love cooking a lot and I feel I feel my personal interest in cooking is also well blended with uh, with the whole like with the whole community. So in a way that it's not particularly artistic artistic practice, you might say, but it is um, related to uh, it's like really binding people all together. So that is what I enjoy the most uh, when you know some activities organized in this department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I go back to Taco. So uh, what is it what is sort of sort of the attitude you you educate people? Or what are the methods or the in the program? Well what are you educating people for? What that's are you a trying bit to do? What we try to do, apart from what I said before, is to, to, you know, for each individual student, try to help them to find their personal, to formulate their personal interests and to, 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 to learn how to shape that in a form that is communicable in, a, in some kind of artistic, uh, you know, or some kind of uh, experiential uh, way. Uh, it, it, it creates new experiences. We hope or we think it's important that people are curious and critical and that critical can be, you know, there's a, a, a lot of artists, uh, I mean, of course, are critical towards uh, uh, all kinds of social uh, uh, issues, which, which we also think is very important. But apart from that, we hope to get that a level higher in, in a way to also get it up to being critical what the art world I'm not talking about when when people mention the art world they usually use the I mean the the, 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 the the world of fine arts or whatever but i mean every little art world the uh, the, 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 the 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 fine arts world and what is called the new media world or the music world theater world to realize what kind of um how how to get rid of blind spots, how to get rid of the, 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 the discourse at the, uh, as it is in a certain, in a, in a certain world that you, uh, that you operate, to 
levitate above that and to see what are the good and the bad things about a certain discourse. You know, that comes from with, with also our history is coming uh, as uh, coming into existence as an interfaculty, uh, being embedded in uh, uh, not, not only the, 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 the fine arts discourse, but also, and we, we actually originated there, the ideas came from there, from the conservatoire, from the, say, the composition uh, department there. Uh, what is the musical discourse of thinking? And that is uh, something that's not only, um, it's not only about the fact that it's uh, it's dealing with sound, uh, um, you know, or, 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 or music, but it's the, 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 the way a composer thinks is in many ways, in many ways the same, and in many ways different than how, for instance, a fine artist uh, thinks. And that's interesting to look at, you know, that you have on one hand, uh, um, uh, the, the fact that, for instance, to go back uh, on, on, on what uh, YJ just said, uh, the collective uh, uh, aspect is something that is a, a very common thing in, in, in thinking for, uh, for the musical world, because you know, for, for, for ages, I mean, without, without collectives, no music. You know, that's the people uh, 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 make music together. There's a, there's a whole idea about how you organize these chains, you have a composer, you have, or you have improvisation, uh, you know, you have people who play something, how that interacts is something that's very natural in, 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 in our thinking, which you can then take out and it doesn't need to go, uh, it doesn't need to be about music, it can be about anything else you do. And then you get to uh, easily to a, to, a, to a situation where you can learn how to operate in a more collective way in different fields than it's originally uh, developed. That's just one example, uh, but there's many of these things that you can. It's quite cherry picking of things from all kinds of different discourses and then recombining them uh, in an individual way uh, uh, to something that's workable for you and that leads to experiences or ways of developing things that are not um, that are not common and that are actually new. And that's 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 and that also implies that it's a lot of experiment. Uh, it's a lot of open thinking, trying to get past these blind spots, and it implies a lot of failing. You know, it's it's it, it's it goes wrong a lot of times because things don't work. <laughs> Why do you, do you do you remember a course where there was a lot of failing for you? <laughs> um, or falling. <laughs> Falling, yes, every day. <laughs> no, but uh, I feel there's no specific. I don't. I don't define anything or any practice as failure uh, in my whole experience in here because it's uh, for me. It's not well studying here or producing, let's say, art in this department. It's for me not always about the end result, the final product that you come come across, but the approach that you go towards there. Sometimes you don't, well, you go for the approach that you're interested in, but the final result is like kind of disappointing. And I, I see that fine. I see that uh, something actually more positive than negative. Let's um, put it in the word failure. Hmm. I think uh, sometimes, sometimes there are workshops that um, put a lot of people together and Everybody has their own practice. Everybody has their own background. And in a workshop where you have to collaborate with each other, there are also there are very often some failures in communication, like how you interact with all these individual artists, how you come towards a, um, a product, like a production that just gets, everybody gets a chance to show what they are interested in. So I think, but. I, I wouldn't say that is a concrete failure, failure because that always teaches us to learn how to collaborate with people. And from this failure, actually, you can, you can, you can, you know, move forward. Like from this failure, actually, some accident thing, accidental <laughs> things can emerge. So yeah, I, I think that is uh, that is what I experienced. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's also how I mean how I mean to frame this failure uh, thing. Of course, fail, failure is uh, intrinsically connected to trying out new things, and that's how you get further. You know, from yeah. one failure you get to another, you get to something with, which is maybe some point 
um, better than uh, or more interesting than uh, than how you started. So and failure, there's there's also interesting failures and uninteresting failures. I mean, <laughs> there's a, you can talk an hour about that, but uh, let's see if there's something else. Um, there's some quotes from Beckett, fail, if you fail, feel better. I think it's like, if you, if you fail this time, next time feel better. Or something like that. Something yeah, something like that, like that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where do the students end up? Yeah, that's also a difficult question to... Uh, <laughs> not that we don't know where they go after they... Uh, um, after they uh, finish their studies here, because we also uh, um, alumni of the of the department really stay in in contact a lot in an international network because it's a very international department. So we do keep on seeing them, and there's all kinds of contacts between people, and sometimes collaborations between people that graduated maybe with 15 years in between. I've seen that. Um, but they end up in um, very diverse areas, and that can uh, that can be in 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 a more um, um, say gallery type of context uh, or a more um, performative uh, theater or um, experimental music type of context. Um, what is if there is we have people that ended up as being uh, um, literary uh, uh, writers writing novels and uh, things like that or other uh, 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 experiments in literature, uh, theater, all kinds of online type of uh, of of uh, um, of art. And we have, uh, uh, but if you, if there is something general to say about it, then there is this uh, uh, international festival culture around new types of art, new media like uh, um, um, Ars Electronica in uh, in Austria, or here you have Sonic Acts in Amsterdam. You have Two Days Art in The Hague. Um, that's an environment. Uh, in which you see a relatively open uh, um, approach towards uh, art forms that are uh, uh, um, coming from different discourses and, and mixtures of, uh, of disciplines. A lot of people get there. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, and we also have people that get into generative art and really the computer art scene or people that get into uh, experimental cinema. Um, it goes all the all directions, actually. Mm -hmm. All directions. Maybe I invite another student in, uh, Christina. So, yes. <laughs> thank you. Why thank you so much, why <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So, hello. This is the next one. She's Christina, she's from the first year Masters. Uh, and maybe Christina, you can also say something about your fascination. <laughs> yes, I am very curious um, on a fundamental level to open up the fields of science and art towards each other, but also uh, in relation to the public somehow. So um, what I'm like more concretely interested in is also how do I deal in my artistic practice with these ideas of um, this ecological crisis and the ecosystems of the uh, yeah the planet that, that we are um, yeah in today, uh, but I also want to take my practice uh, or the things that I do outside of this white cube or the black box in a way and try to to um, work with these systems in an outdoor environment that is somehow another place to also confront people with um, with my practice uh, in particular um, on a daily basis in an environment they maybe meet uh, um, yeah, more often than if you are not very um, keen to go into galleries, for example. Um, so from that, I am very interested in exploring through technology how some of these concepts of, uh, for example, this idea of human exceptionalism, how how maybe we as a human species um, 
attribute ideas of intelligence only to us uh, or creativity only to us and not other species but how can i deal with this or explore these topics through, um, through creating these uh, technological systems um, yeah mm -hmm. and i mean from from um, now i only started uh, half a year ago and uh, i think the different courses uh, or electives i've, I've chosen to have uh, have been very inspiring to me in terms of looking at this uh, topic or these topics uh, from various uh, perspectives in a way. Um, so uh, in a way I'm even more confused <laughs> than I was when I started, but uh, it helps me to, yeah, to de develop a new um, approach yeah. mm -hmm. towards this. I think it's good you're more confused now. <laughs> and I'll, I'll explain that a bit because it sounds a bit uh, counterproductive but uh, we I think it's uh, to me or to us it's good to hear that you're now studying in your masters at us for the uh, for half a year that you got confused because that is the opening process you know uh, of uh, uh, of uh, trying to uh, uh, to look over the boundaries of how you've been thinking about things before so that 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 happens to a lot of students uh, um, especially in the masters because they they already <laughs> Um, you know, developed uh, a set of uh, uh, ideas for themselves in the previous studies and 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 professional practice, and uh, that'll be uh, all right if you continue like that. I mean, it's it'll reform in a certain way that is uh, uh, that's actually hopefully a level uh, a level more complex or more 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 directed in your thinking of what is what is important for you in, 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 in unexpected ways. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy you, you tell this now. <laughs> but I also see it as an, as an important part of the process to, to, um, to expand or to open up all of these concepts mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in order to, yeah, to find your position or to question them in new ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Can you describe is there how an average week looks like? Is there an answer to it? Or? <laughs> I think there are many answers to it, yes. <laughs> the, um, it depends. We um, have a studio space uh, at uh, the KPK where we are uh, a couple of many students. Uh, and I think it's uh, very important to have this space because we can share ideas and we can we can spare with each other uh, in this manner. If we have electives in a in a week, it's often that many of the hours are yeah, filled with with these courses. Uh, but then there is before and after. There is still time for us to, to work on our uh, yeah, own projects or to internalize it in ways through our so our practice. Um, and here we um, have a lot of different uh, facilities at the Kappa Ka as well, uh, different workshops where we can prototype or we can create our yeah, more finalized projects of artworks. Um, so in a general week, we have all the weekdays, uh, we have uh, access to the school, only Sunday it's closed, um, but maybe it's also, also quite okay to have a day <laughs> off, so important. Um, yes. Yeah, so we are practically we are able to go here from eight in the morning to ten in the evening, and um, yeah, it's very inspiring to have a place to also uh, yeah socialize with other fellow <laughs> students. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think you 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 learn the most from the discussions with your peers, actually during your studies, and uh, and of course it's not that it's irrelevant what teachers do, but. Uh, um, you are the next generation. You have to learn from each other what you think is uh, uh, um, important and how things work that you uh, that you personally like to introduce in the world. You know uh, that that's we're old. I mean, we can only you know in a theoretical sense say, oh yeah, we we give all the opportunities and we we facilitate the uh, uh, the broadness. Of, of, uh, of, of possibilities, we facilitate, you know, all kinds of tips that have to do with experienced uh, uh, thinkers or, or developers. But, you know, in the end, if I talk about art of the future, that's not us, that's you. And then uh, um, that you have to discuss with each other. So that's why we're also uh, happy that we can facilitate these, these discussions. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and also one reoccurring uh, 
uh, event every week is the master meetings and the master. So um, where each of the uh, yeah, several students each week share what they have background is, uh, what is their project uh, or the method of their project. So we yeah we get an insight into what people are doing and it all, always starts new conversations and uh, reflections. Yeah. What kind of things are people working on? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, many different things. Yeah, it's nice to get some concrete, like 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 one is interested in that and the other one is more. Yes. Um, one is very, for example, yeah, from interested in in this patterns, visual patterns, but have not yet found out what is it about these patterns that are uh, creating this fascination somehow. So there is something there that is yet to be explored. Um, another one is dealing with the ideas of the breath and how how to relate uh, to the mind and the body for the breath. Um, Others are working also with the idea of synesthesia and um, exploring also what is synesthesia? From this perspective, also exploring yeah how the different senses are uh, connected or uh, speak to, with each other mm -hmm. um, through these um, very visual and sonic uh, installations or yeah inventions. Um, and yeah, dealing with the sound compositions in various ways, um, the experience uh, of sound in a spacious way or in an embodied way as well. Um, yeah. Nice. What are the differences with other departments? Um, well, I think in general, uh, well, yeah, there's also many answers to that, but it, what, it, what's, what's, what's really a difference uh, uh, principal difference is that uh, that our position as an interfaculty, so part of the the, uh, the Academy of Fine Art and Design and the Conservatory of Music and Dance, there is this position from which you automatically can, you know, uh, uh, um, see uh, the, the 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 difference in discourse apart from the fact that one you can traditionally see and the other you can traditionally hear. But there's a there's a lot of different ideas on how you get to to works. I think this this meta position, in a way, is uh, is uh, is is uh, defining one of the basic differences with other departments he, here at the KBK, where we are now broadcasting from, uh, or the conservatory in the other building where we also have spaces. Um, Another thing is that the, 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 um, I think that if you look at, for instance, fine arts programs, whether in the bachelor or in the master, like we have this artistic research program here, um, when or, or the, the, the ideas about artistic research that, that are very uh, uh, um, on the foreground nowadays in, 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 uh, in, in thinking that these, if they have research fascinations they usually have to do with um, um, things that look towards the humanities um, and I think that at uh, art science uh, looking at the humanities is is inevitably uh, um, a um, a part of, of what you develop because you know you're as an artist you're a communicator in a way uh, which has to do with social uh, uh, constructs and with uh, 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 anything and language and everything that has to do with that but there's also generally more of a, a um, focus on the say the hard sciences the natural sciences or, or mathematics or you know that we share this if you know the science and art science many people ask what is the science and art science well it's there's different also different uh, um, um, explanations to that, but one of them is that we share this curiosity uh, of uh, say scientists as um, as explorers. You know, you don't. It's, it's not only about your social position and communication things. It's about you go into the field, uh, uh, in the open field in a way, and you're curious about what you can see in not only the world but the universe you know and that 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 curiosity uh which differs from scientists that it is uh, uh not about you know unveiling new types of truth uh which is 
shortly explain, you know, what the, what, uh, uh, what science is about. Uh, um, of course, I had all kinds of postmodern discussions about that, but in general, this is more about, you know, the 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 the, the experiential, uh, um, maybe you can say, even the, the, uh, the possibilities of form and and how um, world uh, that images of the universe or images of the world that we have can not only translate to understanding as what it does in science, but also to experience what that new worldview is that we are developing through science, through all kinds of developments in the, in, in, in the world. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's one thing to understand what's going on. For instance, uh, 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 environmental uh, uh, questions that you're dealing with. It's another thing to develop things that makes you, make you experience it in, 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 in different ways. That adds another layer, and you know, uh, to uh, to concentrate on this this curiosity, you know, there's a whole you know world of phenomena. It's, a, it's really a phenomena uh, phenomena based uh, uh, um, uh, type of of, of, of uh, curiosity. You know, you see some phenomenon somewhere, and then you're you're just curious. How does that work, and how can I use that to have new ways of expression? <laughs> and that's a good illustration. So, um, I think that this way of the focus of curiosity, the focus and the depth of where you connect things, where you are curious and what you try to get out of that, uh, that's a uh, um, that's the difference uh, with with other departments here at the academy, also at the uh, um, at the conservatoire. Um, and there's many more factors, and you can also, uh, of course, talk about that for for a long time. But we try to. It, it, I'm also not saying that it's better than any other department, uh, but it's um, it's directed a bit different. Towards the sciences, uh, toward the, towards the, 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 towards phenomena, and towards the, 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 the field exploration, and it's a bit more fundamental in trying to ask questions that are beyond, you know, what is art. I mean, the question could be: uh, Do we need art, or is there something else that we can? Does the 21st century need a replacement for uh, for this um, human? I like that question. Do we need art? Yeah, well, there's a lot, of, and especially now in, in in times of COVID, there's a lot of there's a lot of discussion, you know, about the the, the, the cultural sector and whatever here in the Netherlands at the moment. But uh, uh, of course, in all kinds of other countries, when with lockdowns, we notice that we need uh, uh, the cultural sector. M many more people now realize that they miss it when it's not there. That's very important, and I'm not saying that you know this should. Uh, I, I'm not saying we should, uh, uh, I don't think personally that we don't need it. I think it's very important. But the question is, what is it then? Is it art as we know it now, or is it something cultural? I think that's a beautiful ending. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Thank you so much.